I remember being impacted by stories, I think, my entire life, like reading a book and just thinking, wow, that's so, like, so magical. And, you know, just your, your imagination just gets sparked and you just daydream and get lost in that world. Or seeing movies and, and music that makes you sad or happy, or just like that emotional impact. And, and I, I knew that I always wanted to do something with that. It's almost like having magical powers over somebody, right? To be able to cast an emotion that you want them to feel and to make them think about something. I've grown up playing games. Uh, I grew up playing games, especially I have an older brother, and so like I love playing games with my brother. It wasn't until I think uh, Half-Life 1 actually was the first game that I played that it's, it's a game, but it's actually telling a story. You're actually in a world, and there's actually things going on around you in this world that you're experiencing, you're existing in, and there's, there's a character arc and a story arc across the game, and it was sort of this like weird revelation to me to be able to sit down and think like, wow, this is a game that I'm playing, that I'm existing in, but there's also a story being told and something that I'm supposed to be feeling and, and doing and experiencing. Uh, and I think it was around that time that I started to, to feel the pull to go this direction. The mindset of an effects artist is somebody that's gonna take an otherwise completely stagnant world. And we're gonna try to sell that experience. So all the players' expectations of what should be happening in the world, we try to add that. The dust in the air, the wind in the trees, the footprints left by players as they walk around the world. It's the story of the world around the player, essentially. Every different effect is a totally different challenge, not just artistically, but technically. Some days I'm writing code, some days I'm painting in Photoshop, some days I'm out taking photos to try to use as reference. Other days I'm traveling, and if I can actually go on site, I, I absolutely will. For Uncharted 3, we did a trip out to the Imperial Dunes in Arizona um, and just ran around the dunes and just like running up and down them, sliding down them, falling down them and just like feeling what it's like to be out there. And sand is a very liquid thing. It's like mercury almost running down and the impact that you have on the environment is tremendous. And so we had to take the entire experience and see how we can adapt it into the game world. It's crazy. I mean, 10 years ago when I was a student, I was terrified like everybody else and I didn't understand how I was ever going to be good enough to, to fit in and how I was going to, you know, do work that stood out in this industry. And I've just been working hard and trying to just enjoy it along the way. When I come back to, to these events to speak to students, to speak at conferences and see people that are as passionate as I am, that are trying so hard to play a role in this industry and to help shape the future of my industry, it's, it's really, really inspiring, you know, and it, it reminds me why I'm here. Anybody that's just that excited about any of this medium is, is fantastic to me. And there's, there's something really, really, really infectious about just being around people like that and at moments like that. I've never had an experience talking with somebody that hasn't been a, a positive one. Uh, when people come up to me and say like, oh man, I love that game. I, I want to ask them like, you know, what did you like about it? What didn't you like about it? Uh, you know, if in your opinion, what, what could I have done better? And it's amazing to know that people are not only looking at my work, but also have had positive experiences from it.